Denise, congratulations on a beautiful performance. Thank you. How hard did you need that third round? Um, I think I needed hard, but you know, it was uh, she was tough, and um, I think that uh, I was trying some things for myself to uh, because I see this fight as an uh, upcoming fight for the title, so I wanted to try something so a, a little bit different than I'm used to. That's why the first two rounds was a little bit like um, both sides because I was yeah in myself trying some things. And um, yeah, finally the third round uh, with uh, almost uh, the armbar, but uh, I think this is she has uh, elastic arms because I thought, what? The arm? But uh, yeah, and then I punched and uh, it was over. I really want to because now it was a long time. I was, uh, I think, eight months out of, uh, out of the fight. So I hope to be, uh, to now continue fighting and also in the in several months, not to, not uh, that I don't have to wait for too long. But uh, yeah, now I'm back and uh, after this fight, back in training, back in training camp, and ready for the next one. Thank you. And like you said, you've been out for quite a while now, about a year. Um, how did it feel getting back in there? And did it take a while? You need to kind of uh, warm into it. Yeah, it was uh, like I, I feel it that I was a long time out of uh, out of the cage. But uh, like I said, um, I'm. Uh, uh, this, this fight I see it as a fight for because I really want won a title fight. So I was just experiencing some things. Uh, that's why I also go to the ground sometimes. And I just want to try some things out because I'm a kickboxer. But in, kick, in kickboxing I'm the world champion. But in MMA kickboxing is just a small part. So I have to be like more, um, more disciplined in other sports. So that's why I want to try that some things out for myself. And uh, yeah, she uh, she was a good opponent. And now up to the next one. <coughs> and and you were coming off of that loss. Your last fight was a loss. Did you learn anything from that that kind of helped you going into this? Yes. That also the loss. It was uh, that was really a hard time because uh, I cannot stand a loss. No one. But uh, I think I was like almost going crazy after that fight because in my head it was like so many questions. Why I did it? Why I did that? So it was like um, yeah. In my head was also really confusing the the, the months after my fight against Feta. So this was just, uh, this this whole training camp was really hard and also mental really hard. But yeah, now I'm back. So uh, obviously you want to get to the title shot. How do you see yourself matching up with the champion? I think that uh, I have to fight like two more fights mm -hmm. and uh, then I hope to get the title shot. Um, you, switched, uh, you switched up the camps for this fight, uh, you moved over to uh, Team Schreiber. Can you, can you explain how that, um, how that impacted your game? It's really uh, like uh, like a lot because before uh, I had my head coach, that's Musit Akram, and we have for ten years we fight everyone in kickboxing and have six world titles. And now uh, I do MMA and I did MMA like in several gyms, but now I um, I talk to my trainer Musit and we decide that uh, that Bob. Bob Schreiber, he's also a legend and I have a really good connection also with him and uh, what he explained to me and what he want to teach me that's perfect in my team so that's why uh, I have now my team with uh, Musit and Bob Schreiber as, uh, as my head coach. You were uh, in a really naked choke, how, how deep was it? Were you in any danger at that point? No, no, it, it, it seems like it, I was in danger but it wasn't. It was, uh, like I said, it was like I was trying some things out and you know in MMA if you try something you can get in that position so I, 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 I know that that, that is the, the thing if I, if I want to try something out. But yeah, it's, uh, I learned a lot from this fight and now up to the next one. How did you feel coming across the water, you know, taking on someone in the home country? You know, is this something you thrive on foreign soil? You feel like you do better in this situation? No, I think I do better because also in fit against Feta, uh, my all my world titles was uh, everywhere was in the town of my opponent, so I'm used to that. But it, it gives me more motivation, so I'm not. Uh, I don't think that's a bad uh, bad thing for me. Everyone likes a challenge, yeah. And it's a challenge, yeah, because you fight against your opponent and the crowd, but that gives me more motivation. Perfect, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> we spoke on Thursday, 
and we had a good interview and you said from uh, I'm the Bellator kickboxing champion they're gonna have to kill me if they want to take that title away from me are you yeah. gonna defend that maybe this year uh, it depends on, on Bellator if they wanna wanna see if they wanna they want me to then defend the title, that's okay. If they want to do me another MMA fight, that's also okay. But now, if <coughs> I have to be honest, I'm the world champion. If somebody from that I think she she deserves the title shot, because now in the division in kickboxing, I see no one as a as a as an opponent that I want to fight for the title with, because I see don't I don't see any big opponents in the in the kickboxing division in flyweight. And in MMA flyweight division, they have a lot. So for me, it's more motivated to fight for the Bellator uh, flyweight MMA division. Yeah, you weighed in at 121 pounds. Yeah. That's far under the flyweight limit. So yeah. you're actually a strawweight probably. Is that something that you have ambition for? You know, this fight camp, it was long. And uh, you see it also on my weight. I was like 45. Uh, 45, no, 54, 54 kilograms. So maybe in the future, you never know, because I didn't do, do I was on a diet, but I didn't lose weight with water or go like, it was, uh, easy. it was really easy. I eat before the weight in, so it was really easy. And maybe you never know for the next, uh, for the future, maybe uh, the strawway division can possibly be open. Also for me, and. Maybe we could. Yes. I have to talk with my team <laughs> before I make decision. But yeah, yeah. I'm open for yeah. everything.